What's up everybody? So today we're gonna do a video that I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, whenever we talk about our Dutchware chameleons, everyone always asks us to compare it, contrast it with our old hammocks, which were the Warbonnet Blackbird XLCs. So today's video, we're gonna cover everything. We're gonna, we're gonna compare, contrast them, talk about pros and cons of them, of what we like and didn't like about either one. Um, and kind of fully compare everything. It's a lot of people do ask us about it, um, and we're spoiled enough to, <laughs> to own both of them. So let's get started. First, let's compare these two hammocks because they actually are pretty similar. So they're both 11 foot hammocks. Uh, they're both convertible style, so you can zip the bug nets off. They're both from cottage manufacturers made in the USA. Uh, they actually cost about the same and they weigh about the same. The chameleon in the lightest fabric is slightly lighter than the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. Um, and they both have different suspension options. Uh, they both have the ability to add a winter top cover. So they're pretty similar. Um, but after all that stuff, which is a lot of stuff, that's kind of where their similarities end. So let's talk about the differences between these hammocks because there are some differences. The biggest difference is the shelf on the Warbonnet Blackbird. And after we talk about this, we're gonna set them both up and I'll show you that shelf. The shelf is, is a really innovative design. Um, another big difference is while they both have tie outs, you can move the tie outs around on the Dutchware Chameleon versus you can't move the tie outs on the Blackbird. And another, uh, it, it may seem like a little difference, but it actually makes a, a big deal to me at least, is the tie outs on the Warbonnet Blackbird attach directly to the bug net versus the tie outs on the Chameleon attached to the Chameleon body. So um, it, it does make a difference in how the bug net gets up off your face. Um, and it also makes a difference in adjusting the tie outs when you have the bug net on but it's just a difference. Another kind of minute difference is while they both come with a winter top cover option, you have to buy the winter top cover at the time you buy the Warbonnet Blackbird, at least as of the time we made this video. They custom make each top cover to each individual hammock because you know each hammock is gonna be slightly different. Um, so if you want a top cover, you have to order it when you order this hammock. The Dutchware is like a fully modular system. So you can buy this hammock and you don't have to buy a bug net with it. Another difference, you have to buy the bug net with the, with the XLC. Um, and like what we're gonna do is this fall slash winter, we're gonna buy a, a, a winter top cover and we can buy it you know, six months after we bought this hammock. So speaking of the bug net, another difference between these two hammocks is if you take the bug net off of the Warbonnet Blackbird, you do kind of lose the foot box area on it versus you can take the bug net off of the Dutchware Chameleon and you still retain the foot box. Um, it kind of turns, when you take the bug net off of the Warbonnet Blackbird, um, it kind of turns it into what they call their traveler hammock. So that's a kind of, it could be a big difference to some people. It might not be a big deal to other people. Um, the biggest and most famous difference between these two hammocks is the chameleon, you have the ability to change lay direction. So most hammocks, so for instance, when you buy this Bourbonnet Blackbird XLC, you gotta pick whether you want a head left or a head right, and they're gonna make the hammock to that head left or head right. The Dutchware Chameleon, you can change the lay direction whenever you want, and it's as easy as flipping the bug net over and moving tie outs around. So Another difference is the Chameleon has a system of pack hooks that line the outside of it that will uh, keep the underquilt in place um, versus no pack hooks on this, but um, Warbonnet does make an underquilt that is specifically designed for this hammock, and that's not the case for this one. You can use any shock cord underquilt with this one. You can use any shock cord underquilt with this one but you can also buy their own underquilt that actually fits really well to this hammock and it doesn't use shock cords. So some people don't like shock cord um, underquilts. So if you, if you don't like shock cord underquilts, you can get this hammock and buy what they call their Wookiee underquilt. Uh, another difference, and it might not be a big deal to some people, is this comes in a lot of different colors and a lot of different fabric choices. Um, 
This one comes in a couple of fabric choices. You know, we both got single layer 1.7s because we don't use a pad. Um, this one comes in three different fabrics and like six to eight different colors, um, which is kind of cool. I mean, or not. Some people care, some people don't. Um, another difference is as of yet, you can't get the chameleon in a double layer. So if you're someone who sleeps on a pad, um, you might want to go with this one. Um, I, I think Dutch is going to make this in a double layer at some point because people have been requesting it. But as of now, and it just came out a couple months ago, you can't get this in a double layer, only a single layer. Can you think of any other differences? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I think it's just we've had the luxury of being able to try them both. So it's all personal preference, really. Yeah, so one of the things I was thinking about in terms of, you know, we're, we're not going to recommend one of these. These are both great hammocks. I mean, we've, we've met, we know people who vastly prefer this one over this one, and we know people who prefer this one over this one. Uh, it kind of depends. Do you want a shelf? Um, do you care about a bug net? So if, if you are a person that doesn't, if you live somewhere where you don't ever need a bug net, you're probably going to get this hammock because you can buy it without the bug net, and you can use it without the bug net and still have the foot box. Um, if you're a smaller person, you can get the Blackbird, the regular Blackbird, which is smaller and lighter. Um, you know, if you're of a certain height and body dimension, you don't need an 11 foot hammock. And this one only comes in 11 foot. Um, so there's a little bit more options there. Um, we already touched on it. If you're someone that uses a pad, uh, you're probably going to want this one because you can get a double layer um, versus this one because there's no double layer for this one yet. So it's kind of just personal preference. Um, you can't go wrong. With you can't either. go wrong with either one. I mean, they're, they're both like quality made products from like very reputable cottage vendors. They're, and they're, they're almost the exact same price. So that's enough of us kind of talking about them. Um, we're going to sit, we'll set both of them up briefly and we'll kind of just go through the differences we talked about. So first we got the Warbonnet Blackbird. We got Andy in there showing you it. Um, it's a great hammock. We've we used it for like six or seven months straight um, But I wanted to give you a shot of the shelf So like we kind of brought up the tie outs you can remove the tie outs on the uh, blackbird But they tie out kind of right on the bug net um, and there and there's one here and one on the other side I'll show you So the other tie out, but they do tie out straight. Oh my god, you're laying on that bug net um, they tie out straight to the bug nets, so um, you can't adjust them while you're in the hammock. You have to adjust them down towards the stakeout area um, versus the chameleon. You can adjust them while you're in the chameleon, and we'll, we'll show you that. So there it is. It's um, it's amazing. I mean, it's we couldn't be more obsessed with the shelf on the Blackbird. Um, it is a super ingenious design feature and it holds like a ton of, like that's his sweatshirt um, and you can fit, he's got plenty of room in there. Yeah. Um, you know, this is uh, this is for the Wookiee underquilt, um, but this is just a good shot of it. And it's a super comfortable hammock and he gets a really flat lay. Um, he's really flat in there. So we actually had some nostalgia. We've been using the chameleons for the last two months and uh, we've put this up and we're like, man, we do miss some aspects of the of the Blackbird. Uh, this is a pretty terrible hang right now, as you can see. Um, we just threw it up in the gear loft here just to show you kind of what it looks like. But yeah, that's uh, that's the Warbonnet Blackbird. Great hammock, trusty, reliable. Um, but let's throw the chameleon up and we'll show you some things about that. So next up, we got the chameleon set up. Uh, this is a blue chameleon in the Hexon 1.6 fabric. This is actually Allie's chameleon. Um, we thought it'd be easiest to show the blue color. So um, the first, m another major difference between these two hammocks is there are two zippers um, on the chameleon, so you can move the zippers around um, versus the war bonnet zippers are just up here. So you gotta reach up and unzip it here. He can zip it and out from the middle or the top or the bottom or whatever. And another huge difference is you can zip out on both sides of this hammock, which is definitely an advantage. Um, I never end up using it, and I never end up changing the lay direction and stuff, but it's nice to be able to, in, to zip in and out on both sides. As you can see, there's no shelf, which sucks, um, but 
we got these peak lofts right here and they they satisfy the addiction um it's not as good as the shelf it doesn't have as much space but it it, it is able to carry everything that we would normally put in the shelf uh, and it's cool yeah you can kind of move it in and out it's actually a really cool design and it only weighs like an ounce so if you are coming from a blackbird and you're switching to a chameleon or you want to try the chameleon out we couldn't recommend the peak lofts more um, another shot you'll see is the tie outs attached to the body of the hammock um, so he can adjust the tension on the tie outs without having to get out which is kind of cool and as i brought up the uh, there's a series of um pack hooks so one here and on the other side and then two more over there and hammock doesn't come with a cat um and his here's where you can move the tie outs around so you can have the tie outs here you can have the tie outs there you can have them there there it's very customizable so uh, you know similar and yet different from the war bonnet but you know we we've had great experience with both of these hammocks and you know it's just kind of different strokes for different folks and the cat wants to get in he likes he likes both of them he doesn't prefer one of the over the other but you can't go wrong with any of them um, you know, we have both of them. We're going to keep both of them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You know, if if you guys have any experience with using the Chameleon or the uh, War Bonnet, please throw, throw it down in the comments. Uh, tons of people ask us to compare these two. You know, other than Dream Hammock and maybe Wilderness Logics, these are like the two biggest cottage hammock manufacturers, um, Dutchware and War Bonnet. So give them a try you can't go wrong with either one we've tried to outline the differences and the similarities between the two so thanks for watching grab yourself a hammock <laughs>